Portner and Shore has recovered nearly $250 million, and they currently have offices all throughout Maryland, D.C., and Virginia. Jonathan Portner is the founding partner of the firm and joins us now to tell us more. So welcome, Jonathan. Thank you. So uh, let's talk about after a person has been involved in an auto accident, what does he or she need to know? Well, generally after an accident, people are concerned about seeing a doctor, mm -hmm. getting medical care, um, maybe getting compensated for their lost wages, and then hopefully finding an attorney. Um, in today's world, I also say you should be very well aware of what you're putting out there on social media. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, when you're out there every day, you're thinking in social media terms, my friends are looking at it, my family's looking at it. After you've been involved in a car accident, it's possible that an insurance investigator is looking at it too and maybe seeing that certain things you're saying uh, on the post aren't consistent with what the, the, with the claim you're making. Is there, I would assume there's a thin line between getting out and taking a, a snapshot of, say, the two vehicles that have bumped. Um, versus then turning around saying, oh, I've got neck pain or back pain. And it's like, how much pain could you be in if you had time to take this picture? Well, hopefully after the accident, the only picture you are taking is of the car. Right. And, and you're leaving the pictures off social media completely, which is what right. I tell clients. Right. Just stay away from it. Um, generally, you know, you're not sharing um, a significant injury with people. You're sharing mm -hmm. happy thoughts. So keep your happy thoughts um, to yourself and off of social media until well after your claims resolved. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the cases that you're currently dealing with? Well, I can tell you that in respect to social media, too. Right. I mean, with, with respect to social media, in the old days, we would tell clients, be careful. Mm -hmm. The videographer might follow you around for a day and be taking pictures. And we actually had videographers take pictures of one woman rollerblading who said she was disabled. Oh. Uh, another person who was going on vacation when mm -hmm. they said they couldn't go anywhere, and he was actually lifting luggage and putting it on top of a van. Um, oh, wow. But recently, um, actually like a month ago, uh, we had a claim where I was talking to the insurance adjuster, and the insurance adjuster, you know, we were going through it, and I said the lady's basically disabled, mm -hmm. uh, neck and back pain, can barely move, and the insurance adjuster said, one, that's not true, and two, we're offering you zero, um, because after the accident, you referred you to, I'll refer you to the social media post where she was dancing and moving all about and clearly wasn't disabled. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So Big Brother's always watching. Watching, you know, and all employers are watching it, so mm -hmm. why shouldn't an insurance investigator be watching it? And it really is a big deal to limit the, how much they have to pay. Absolutely. All right, tell us some tips on how to avoid issues with the insurance company concerning your claim and, of course, social media. I think tip number one is stay off of social media. Well, yeah, I mean, people think maybe the privacy settings will help. Mm -hmm. They don't. Um, people think that maybe they can take the posts down after mm -hmm. they put them up. That comes out, too. Right. Just don't make the posts. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to help you, and in some way, um, somehow, someone else is going to look at it, and it's probably going to be inconsistent to what you claim. If you were to post something and then take it down, could there be an argument to ask to see that post again? Yes. Okay. There's a lot of litigation over that exact point. Okay. Um, there's actually lawyers um, who've done that and they've instructed clients in litigation to take it down and they've gotten themselves in trouble. Um, right. So taking it down Doesn't is, help. is just bad. So just don't post it. Yeah. All right, Jonathan. And where do we find you? What's the website? Uh, it's PortnerInsure.com. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right, folks, stay with us. We have more of Let's Talk Live coming up right after the break.